your smart remote makes navigating around your TV a breeze. First things first, to check out Smart Hub for access to streaming services and your TV settings and sources, press the Smart Hub button. Now, right in the center of the remote is the directional pad. Use this to navigate your TV's menus and to make selections. In the center is the Select button. Press and hold this button to use your voice assistant. What's the weather like today? To its left, this button opens the virtual number pad so you can easily enter a channel number, pin, or zip code. If you press it a second time, it opens your colored buttons window. These buttons behave differently depending on which feature you're using. To the right is the multi-view button, which allows you to view two things at once. Mirror your phone on one side and watch TV on the other. The play pause button opens your playback controls. When you're in game mode, pressing and holding this button for three to five seconds brings up your game bar. As you navigate your TV's apps and settings, the return button takes you to the previous menu. Holding it for more than a second closes the function you're running. The volume button raises and lowers the volume. Pressing it mutes your volume entirely. Pressing and holding the button opens your accessibility shortcuts. Here you can enable captions and other options. The channel button allows you to navigate your TV's programming one channel at a time. Pressing the button opens your channel guide. Using the channel button on your guide changes the page for faster scrolling. You can use the preset buttons to quickly launch streaming apps like Netflix, Prime Video, and Samsung TV+. Now, if for any reason your smart remote isn't running smoothly or controlling the TV, try resetting it. Press and hold the select and return buttons at the same time for 10 seconds. The LED light on the remote will blink a few times, confirming the reset. You're all set to start exploring your new Samsung TV.